Hi, this is Tony, and I'm sitting here with... Max Cavalera, return to roots. Hi, Max. What, what do you think about playing Wacken this year? I love Wacken as uh, one of the, the most uh, famous metal festivals in the world, and I've been, I've been at Wacken before, but now it's a bit special with, with roots, because it's a special record. It's 21 years. The tour is going great, all the shows are, are packed and sold out and we're just going to try to do a really great show and I uh, hope the crowd likes it. Well, how did you come by the idea to do the Return to Roots? Uh, it was not my idea, it was my wife's idea, you know, like all great ideas are wife ideas, you know. Uh, so she's make a suggestion for me and Igor to do... Uh, to try to play the whole Roots record. We tried in Canada and it was great. And it just kept going, man, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. More people wanted to see it. And uh, now it's, uh, yeah, we're not stopping until December. Um, and then December is the last shows of Roots. Next year, we're not doing Roots anymore. So this is it. Okay, will, so will there? This is the last time, man. Walking get to see this, yeah. W will there be any other projects after Roots? Not right now. There's nothing, nothing scheduled. So I have to. I have a new Cavalier record coming out in November uh, on uh, Napalm Records, and it's called uh, Psychosis. It's really good, really powerful. And next year is all Soulfly. So Fly is back to the primitive, it's back to, to uh, tribal grooves, you know, so a lot of people are going to like it. Can you tell us anything about the new Cavalera album? It's insane, it's crazy. It's like, uh, I don't know, I, I'm full of life, you know, the album is very, you know, it's, it's very fast, but also really well done, man. We spend time with it, you know, every riff, every part. We was not just record, play and record. We came back, made it better. It was like, this is not, not good enough. We gotta make it better. Then every song we treated like that. So now there's nine songs. There's one instrumental, it's called Psychosis. It's great. It's, it's a bit like rock, rock a little bit. And everything else is just full on, full on metal, you know. It's like, kind of like Beneath the Remains meets Nail Bomb meets Full of Hell. Uh, Mexico won the medal battle this year at Vaca. Is that a good sign for uh, metal music in Central America? Of course. Yeah. Being a South American, uh, anything, you know, from Mexico down, uh, it, we love it, you know, and uh, I'm proud to be uh, from South America, uh, be Latino, you know, so I'm very happy that happened. And, and I, love, I love Mexico, I love playing Mexico, so I'm very happy for them. Was it hard? To, to begin a metal band in Brazil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No money, you know, no structure. You have to make something out of nothing. You know? But that's that's uh, that's what rock and roll is, right? Like, you, you make something out of nothing, you know? Uh, the, the original idea of rock, of rock and roll, of heavy metal, is to create something from nothing so I think it's it's good it gives you character uh, our first years were very important when nobody liked us everybody thought we were crazy playing this heavy metal music in Brazil you know but we believe on it and we made it true you know so now it's like I'm proud to be the we are like the originators of Brazil metal now there's more coming from Brazil, so I'm very proud of it, you know. Are there any bands that you love at the moment? 
it's just new bands oh, or older yeah, bands. All the time, you know. Right now, my favorite band is uh, probably Bowser from Switzerland. Uh, I love Bowser, and uh, um, I love uh, some real heavy stuff like uh, Gate Creeper and, Ni and Nile. You know. Uh, I've been listening to some a little bit uh, black metal stuff, so like uh, Abad, you know, and uh, it's great, you know, like good, good, good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff on the walking, like you know, Morbid Angel, and Napalm Death, you know, and it's a prong, good stuff. Are Are you going to see any bands after you done playing today, or? No, unfortunately, we have to. We have to play tonight, friends. We played two shows today. So our schedule is crazy. We have to we have to play here and we rented a plane, we fly to France, we play France tonight, and then we play sweet uh, Belgium tomorrow, another festival. So we do three festivals in 29 hours. That's a pretty crazy schedule, yeah. We we saw you in 2014 with Soulfly. And at one moment, you took on a, a Dutch jersey for football. And it, it has been said that you are a big football fan. What do you think? How is football connected to metal? I think uh, the energy, you know, uh, and the, the fanatic, the fanatic way of the fan, the football fan and the metal fan are very fanatic, very crazy, very loud. Uh, in Brazil, of course, the drums is a big part of, of football, you know, that's how Igor le learned to play drums, is with the, going to the football uh, games, you know. Uh, I just love, I love the, I love that sports and heavy metal combine. I think it's cool, I, I think it's, uh, we kind of started doing that years ago, wearing the uh, football jerseys, you know and became kind of like a, a trademark. Um, we start putting them on, a, on our rider, so we get, uh, you know, football shirts everywhere we go. So now it's cool, you know, it's like, uh, uh, even even the our own t-shirts, we designed the yellow with the Brazil colors, you know. A lot of people like that, so I think that's, uh, there's a connection between football and metal. But I prefer metal. <laughs> but so you have like a thousand shirts or, or maybe more? Yeah. It's a big collection, yeah. And some some very special ones. Uh, sometimes they put with the name in the back, you know, and uh, sometimes some autograph from players, you know. So it's cool. Uh, do you have a funny, crazy tour story or a funny gig or something? Um, let's see what's uh, the, the, some of the crazy stuff that happened. Um, um, it's always fun on tour. You know, it stinks in the bus. You don't take a shower for like a week. Um, people always farting and puking everywhere, you know. So it's always fun. I love touring. It was my birthday yesterday in Germany. Happy birthday. And, uh, yeah, so that was cool. The crowd sang happy birthday to me in German. I won it in German, you know, so it was great. Really cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Uh, um, I, I got a question from a friend. He said, will there be any plans for a new Killer Be Killed? It will be, but um, we don't know when, you know, because the next year is Soulfly 20 years since the first record came out. Uh, 98, 2018. We are pre probably making a big campaign for the new album. Like I say, we're going back to tribal groove stuff. Uh, so maybe not next year, but the year after next year, Killer Be Kill. Okay, that's great. Do you have anything to say to our fans? Uh, I, 
thank you and enjoy the shows and stay metal. All right, thank you very much, Max. All right.